Hello friends, welcome to Planning Basics. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with the topic of revised schedule. As we described in our previous tutorials that how we can prepare the recovery schedule. Now it's time to explain the revised schedule. What is the difference between revised and recovery schedule and how we can prepare a revised schedule in Primavera P6 to see the new updates and new timelines for the activities and for the project. So what is the difference between recovery and uh, revised schedule? The recovery schedule is that schedule where we have to manage the same finished date of the project which assigned in previous results either that is the contract finish date or something else or previous extension of time date which is phrased after the award day, awarded the extension of time the revise is that if there is how we can segregate the revised schedule that is if there is any scope is added to your project if you have slipped from your finish date because of some major issues by client by local community or by something change climate change or force made use happen like this coronavirus and these all so you have been awarded or you have you are get a new extension of time to your project then we will assign a new baseline to our project and freeze a new target finish date which is to complete the our scope of works so here open your primavera p6 suppose this project was initially if you see here was 60 days planned and now the duration has been extended to 155 days how we can recover and in this result if you see the project baseline start was 1st of november and it is actually start but stop due to do reasons just this is a uh, due to some reasons we stopped after the completion of two activities the project has been suspended or closed for some time then we get the new project finish date is 21st of January 2022. How we can prepare? Then we apply for the extension of time as I describe how we can apply and get the extension of time in other tutorials you can watch over there. Now you can see here the schedule percent complete is 100% up to now because we are supposed to complete this project on 21st of January 22nd but until now only two activities has been started and completed and we schedule this project on 20th of march up to 20th of march this is our delay so how we can get now move forward to excel i will explain what there i have prepared this one initial duration was 60 days start date was 1st of November 2021 finish date was 21st of January 2022 this is due to the holidays in that but extension of time is awarded only 60 days where we can just add the 60 days in this one without any holidays because extension of time is with the holidays concluded so the now new finish date is supposed to be 22nd of March now we have to revise our schedule as per new finish date so first of all we will go to the project and go to the assigned baseline and remove the baseline from our project okay remove it the baseline front project okay now the baseline has been removed from our project now we will add or reduce you can use two techniques here the crushing techniques if there is any activities are 50 percent or 70 percent are completed and you want to segregate the activities this is the period duration which we completed and now extension of time activities you can add the another activities under that activities suppose these activities are 50 percent completed you can do initial preparatory work activities second first and second are with a different name and divide the durations 
accordingly so here the crushing technique you can use like that and the other technique is fast tracking which is we are usually using during the recovery schedule and if there is any need to use that technique in the reverse schedule you can use it as fast tracking is that you can increase your resources to reduce your time period to track the project on the time because here our duration is going to 155 days instead of 122 or 123 days so here our project finish date is going 3rd of June 2022nd but we need to catch on 22nd of March so how we can do it so this is how the project is awarded and how we can catch the project if something if you assign suppose the EOT awarded you can say 80 days result then 11th of April you can focus on the 11th of April and we can reduce if something else so suppose EOT is awarded 130 100 days then this will if 120 days you can say like that okay we will pro produce like 120 days 21st of May 2022nd is our new baseline date so we will the second option is that fast tracking and now we have to reduce our duration to get the project if something is awarded like uh, uh, price or something awarded in according to this one otherwise if not awarded the budget is same then we have to fix duration and time and units and reduce our our duration so reduce or increase if you have awarded the extension of time suppose your date is going 3rd of june and you have awarded the extension of time of 160 days now 30th of noon and 180 you need to increase the duration then it will be 20th of july for the reduce or increase the duration so we will first of all as we did in our recovery schedule we will fix our duration if the cost is also client is supposed awarded to instead uh, with the extension of time some cost then you will not fix the units and duration otherwise you have to fix the units and duration to freeze this cost so now we will produce according to 20th of july 2022nd and we will increase some duration suppose this activity was this will and here status general task dependent fixed units and time here you have to fix fixed units per time fixed units per time to not increase or reduce the units okay this one if you don't want to increase the cost so we will increase the duration here to two days suppose two days and here we can do it by six days if you want to increase the money this you can see now increasing if you will fix the units then it will sorry this one fix duration per unit and two now duration has been increased but the that is cost is freeze if you can do like that now to three days we have to freeze the fourteen days just which activities you need you can add some duration twelve days six days focus on here and 16 days and schedule it
now 15th of july is project finish date here which date we have to freeze 20th of july so 15 5 days we have just do it two days two days and schedule again Eighteenth of July, and suppose we will do three days, printers, and schedule again. Twentieth of July. Now what we will do? We will save this baseline and assign save baseline assign. This is our new duration, and this is how it is working. Go to the projects, and here, just create a copy of the same project here. Copy. And here paste okay 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 now it is creating the baseline this one you will maybe named it baseline 002 and here maybe bl002 okay and then open this project so here what we will do go to the project maintain baseline add another baseline convert to other okay this is baseline add this baseline as named it this is mid project baseline okay close it after the closing assign baseline baseline 2 and baseline 2 okay now if you will run the project if we will run you can see now the start and finish is same but if we schedule on two or three days later without updating the progress you can see the baseline is 25 5th of march okay schedule it yeah now you can see that baseline finishes 26 baseline finishes 20th of july but finishes 26th of july six days difference because we have not updated the progress this is how we can prepare the revised schedule in primavera p6 according to the scope changes extension of time or something else is awarded by the client but this revised with we will be prepared with the permission of clients or consultants hopefully this tutorial is useful for you because please like share and comment on our tutorials if you need any type of help from us please contact with us through our email id is given above the tutorial thanks for watching allah hafiz